Hey viewers, welcome to a review of last week's stop motion battle. It was battle 14B, which is a kill team battle between Tyranid Zotes and some Lunar Wolves. You would have seen it last week, but this is a commentary video just going through how I putting it together. So at this stage I haven't actually done the battle yet, so I'm just commentating on it as we go. So let's have a look and see what the board looks like. You'll have to excuse my voice. I've got a little bit of the flu, but anyway, that will be okay. So picking up from our last battle where we had uh, the Lunar Wolves here, this is our kill team for the Lunar Wolves, they won a battle against the Slanesh army um, up on the first level of Mithdravor, and now they won the right to go to the second level, and that's where we pick up the battle right here. So my plan is is we've got the staircase that I've built just up the back here. They're going to come walking down here. I am going to have our team of heroes, except for that demon princess there, our group of heroes. They're going to be down here as well, but they're going to not be involved in this battle. They're going to probably hide in this little maze area. This is um, this is a, a dungeon, modular dungeon layout uh, made by Dungeon Chunks. I've bought a bit of stuff off those guys um, over the over the years. I really like the stuff. They're not sponsoring this video, but uh, uh, I reckon it looks pretty good. So anyway, this is the layout. So our heroes are going to basically come into here, seeking a way down, and then we're going to have the lunar walls basically come down the staircase as well. They're going to rummage around this area in a similar manner, and then probably over this side of the board we're going to have uh, sort of a prison area, the idea of a prison. I should have some bars and things but you know, this is as good as it gets. Um, and in there are the Zotes. Just for anyone who knows what Zotes are, that's these guys. I believe that they're Tyranid prisoners. Very old as far as uh, the version of Warhammer goes. So that's going to be our kill team. I think there's 15 units there. Uh, kitted out with uh, flesh borers, power fists and missile launchers. So those missile launchers are going to be required to crack open some of that tactical dreadnought armour. And there's the centurion at the back there. He's going to need a fair bit of hammering with missile launchers. So Lunar Wolves come down here, unearth these Zotes and basically the battle's on. So I don't know how this board, side of the board's going to uh, engage. We've got a few cool little things here, like you know, a little doorway here. Oh, I wrecked that. Just kind of like a um, little door to open up. And also, I've just completely messed that anyway. Um, but over here, also, uh, I'll probably use this. That's a little secret door just there. She can come up and down. And planning on using that little hole there maybe to get to the next level. The idea is we're going to get deeper and deeper into this dungeon. Uh, Myth Dravor. And down the bottom we've got the Ancients. And uh, they are going to be dangerous. And there's um, some big ramifications for what happens at the bottom of this dungeon. Anyway, that is the dungeon layout. We have Zotes versus Lunar Wolves. So we'll have the setup coming up shortly. Okay, viewers, here we are at the setup stage. I have now done the introduction and we had our heroes descend these stairs, come to this door over here. Lucky they didn't go this way because the Zotes have broken out. They just sat there while our heroes went through this door here, came to this room, decided to go through there, in through that area, found a pit down to the next level and descended. Avoided all the drama of battling the Zotes, which uh, basically spilled out, out of their prison uh, in amongst this level of the dungeon. So these are the Zotes. There's a few over this side, a few over back there, uh, 15 I think in all. Uh, so then the next part of the introduction occurred. 
and the lunar walls descended the same set of stairs got to here and then uh, they weren't so lucky they were discovered by the Zotes and basically that's the start of our battle so there we have it we've got the lunar walls taking a central position there's lots of little nooks and crannies and things and places where people can hide secret doors etc so we'll have the Zotes on both sides with the lunar walls in the middle we'll see how this battle rolls out okay turn one coming up shortly Well, here we are at the end of turn one, and we've had a few casualties already. Let's start in the middle of the board. We had the Lunar Wolves split up. We had a group come into this dungeon area here, take some strategic positions. We've got Heavy Bolter and a Flamer sitting there in the middle of the room, ready to blast whatever comes through that door. Um, here we've got uh, a Jump Pack melee unit, which couldn't really do anything. Uh, we had Horus and Flamer unit, jump pack unit, take a position in this little alcove here. They fired and didn't take anything out there. A couple of Zotes there. We had a Terminator and another Marine just walk past this corridor here, taking a shot at the Zote, which returned fire. Uh, no casualties there. In the middle here we had the Centurion have combat first, combat with a Zote taking it out um, but there's quite a lot of heavy firepower waiting to return fire moving over this side we had one casualty for the lunar wolves here they got fired upon by flesh borers how did that happen shouldn't have happened you shouldn't have died flesh borers with such low strength but anyway that's what happened and meanwhile Missile launchers didn't do anything to that marine there. Uh, we had our HQ unit, I can't remember his name, it starts with H, Hulinar or something. Uh, really was a little bit chicken and sort of hid behind his teammates just there. So no doubt he'll get out and do some damage later on. Anyway, so that's what we have at the end of turn one. We've got one casualty on each side. Second turn coming up shortly. Here we are at the end of turn two and we've had quite a few casualties across the board. Uh, we started off with the uh, Lunar Wolves going first and move, moving over this side we had Terminator. We'll start here. He was sort of sitting around that door, came out into the middle, took a, a position in the middle of the room. Meanwhile we had our Heavy Bolter uh, unit and that's just a flamer unit over there, over the side, just behind this little rock, rock wall, um, dungeon wall, um, covering this doorway and around here. Uh, we had a zote basically come up from around here and sneak through that door there, come out here. Um, they tried to fire against this unit over here, but it was pretty well covered. Um, looked like the easier target. And also we had the zote with the missile launcher opened the door here, came up from down here and fired on that unit there but it's still clinging on. Uh, over this side we had uh, Horus and uh, we had this other melee unit who was in the here basically bust out that door and engaged two zotes here. One that went down and the other remains in combat. The jump pack unit and this other you know, with a war knife there, just came around the corner and took into this alcove here um, and they fired on this one with a missile launcher, this Zote but the Zote got the upper hand and took one out so a good one for the Zote there Zotes over this side we had the Centurion in melee combat with a Zote which was just sitting there um, took it out these three here, there was one that was sitting in this room here, it came out that door there and combined firepower here to take out that marine with the bolter uh, with the help of this zote here. So like I said before with the zotes it's really flesh borers and missile launchers. Uh, missile launchers proving to be the more damaging obviously. And over this side all those lot were really quarantined 
in this area they couldn't do anything um, that was probably the move from this guy here who sacrificed himself came around the corner took these guys out of play for that turn um, but they're now in the thick of it so we had three Zoat casualties and two Lunar Wolf casualties so uh, still a few more Zotes than Lunar Wolves but we'll see how it pans out turn three coming up shortly here we are at the end of turn three and we've had casualties on both sides we had the Marines go first, the Lunar Wolves basically this section here we had a heavy bolter, is it a heavy bolter? heavy flamer couldn't quite see it there, sorry anyway, he just basically came out to the middle and tried to get this Zote here who's standing in this doorway, not coming forth, he's just sitting there um, using his missile launcher he took out the marine on the side so it's a pretty good move there uh, in the middle here we had our terminator block the doorway and the zote leader basically try and assault across that barrier there so that battle was just going across that doorway over this side we had a zote with power fist take out uh, a melee unit there for the lunar walls and Horus ended up taking out that zote over this side we had this marine was over here back here charged in it against the missile launcher unit and but then uh, these two units with power fists came in and cleaned it up so Zote's controlling that area this Zote over here I'm sick of saying Zote's I should have had a variety of units but anyway um, really couldn't do much couldn't fire into anything over here doorway was blocked over here and this unit was taken out so it really just sat there awaiting the outcome of this battle which the Centurion went down not after not after taking out two Azotes leaving a two on one scenario not so good for the Lunar Wolves especially with this one with those dreaded power fists making short work of that power armour so there we have it fairly evenly positioned battle that's the end of turn three we'll see what happens in turn four here we are at the end of turn four and it's not looking so good for the lunar wolves we'll just move around the board and see what happened the tyranids got the jump sorry the zotes got the jump in the first part of the turn um, this one with the missile launcher stood at the doorway and fired at the marine there with the heavy flamer I believe um, and didn't kill it but then that one turned around and fired back and took it out uh, the leader for the Zotes burst through the doorway and is engaged with the Terminator those guys are duking it out still ongoing that battle we had these two Zotes charge Horus there and true to form he took one out and is engaged in another one this one with a missile launcher is just sitting there couldn't really do anything couldn't engage in that sitting there waiting to see the outcome of this to no doubt launch a missile of sorts over this side the final marine fell and uh, taken out by two Zotes so Zotes, one, two, three, four, five remaining. And for the Marines, we've got basically Horus, Heavy Weapons, Terminator, three. So, can they pull something out at the last minute? We'll have to wait and see. Turn five coming up shortly. Here we are at the end of turn five and that's pretty much the battle really as far as I can see it from here we had Horus over this side take out one Zote leaving himself exposed for a shot from the missile launcher but being Horus he's not going to die from a mere missile launcher uh, we had this epic duel over here between the Terminator and the King Zote and the Zote heavily wounded came out victorious 
these other two Zotes, which were over here, couldn't really get into the combat, so they're just out, out in no man's land. And at the stage of this um, heavy weapons marine, uh, at the stage of their turn, there was nothing to shoot at, so he really just moved from there behind this pillar, ready to try and help out Horace. So really, we've only got two for the Lunar Wolves left, and we've got four for the Zotes, so they might pull off a unexpe an unexpected victory. We'll have to wait and see. Turn six, coming up shortly. Well, there we have it. That's the end of turn six, and a bit of a surprise at the end. We had four Zotes and two the remaining Lunar Wolves, and the Lunar Wolves ended up with a victory. Um, what we had here is this missile launcher one here uh, pulled back into that little crevice there ready to blast these guys um, and we also had this guy here come from around that corner ready to have a shot the other Zote moved from over there up through that doorway into this room here and King Zote basically moved across here because they couldn't go anywhere then these guys Horace and the other Marine took out both of those guys so they ended up controlling that area and pulling off an unlikely victory so that's the end of the battle that is um, the end of this turn as well so what I'm going to do now is the storyline component I think I'm going to have Horace withdraw down this way look through that doorway see the King's Oak go no nope, not going to go that way and sneak off down this path down here come through here try and find some sort of lever to open this door go down through this tunnel here meanwhile shooting various tyranids as they come out of various little nooks and crannies moving through this corridor up through here and find themselves trapped in this little area here um, enemies coming from all sides Horace with his back to the wall Finding a switch which then opens this little secret door which then leads us into the uh, pit which leads us down to the next level which uh, heroes went down before. So that's the plan. I'm going to do the storyline segment now but that's the end of our battle. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next week.